spot is going to be one of our performance poets and this is super exciting. We have Searsha Nash with us who is an amazing slam poet and performance poet and she's also a coordinator at Spoken Word Perth and she's going to perform two poems for us this evening. The first one is called Finest Wine and the second one is called Wide Open Road and Searsha is amazing. I saw her perform along with Laundry Man and Jesse Oliver and a couple of others at one of the Fringe shows and I was so excited when she said yes you've come <laughs> along so please give Sisha Nas a huge warm welcome <laughs> thank you so much for having me Lisa um, so this one was in the Fringe show um, wine breaks on our teeth like waves on the beach Smoke curls up around your fingers. I'll smell it on my pillows come morning. We've been the wanderers, the warriors, the accidental hedonists, drunk each other's bodies and feasted on love. I take you driving further and further out past fields of violent gold canola and immoral monasteries. We piss in national parks, dance under double rainbows, see sunset on a beach that's stinks of rotting seaweed. We show the world what it means to be happy. And it shows us all the colors of spring. Today, we've left the city behind. There's only red dirt carpet and stars more numerous than ever before. You tell me you love me. You tell me you love me. The world stops, the birds stop singing. The world stops turning. You tell me you love me. And it takes a second to kick in. The bush becomes an orchestra. The rain now fireworks, the sunset now the sunrise, but the beach is still the beach. We wander September wildflowers, kiss in moon's first light, follow our feet back to the car, and somewhere on the edge of nowhere in the dark and quiet dusk, we make myth and magic of our bodies, twist spells with fingers, Weave stories with tongues. Messed that one up. <laughs> um, no one else exists but us. I drive you home. We hold hands the whole way. Crawl straight into bed. You hold me till my bones melt. And in the morning, we wake to a bird song. Thank you. So um, I, have a, I have a little, I've, I've done something a bit foolish now. Um, I think I missed the gnome notes memo. I'm sorry. That's okay? Yeah, I hate memorizing poems because you have to get every word. You can't ad lib too much. So um, this is my new one that I wrote this week. Yeah. <laughs> so. um. The train pulls out at the station to my left. My hands gripping the steering wheels, callousing my palms, I put my foot down hard. Accelerate into the moonless night, Mount Lawley melting into the night behind me. I overtake the train at 100 k's an hour, Maylands melting into the night, Guilford, Midland, Kalgoorlie disappearing beneath me as I hit hyperdrive. Paint flaking off my car like tiny stars all around me. My car's metal frame ripping open, bending into the cosmos like an opening flower. My skin is flayed from my frame, space sand shredding sinew until muscle has peeled from bone. My skeleton disintegrates into dust, and I float, peaceful, becoming a billion tiny fragmented atoms melding into the universe. I float, and I see it all all the cracks in the earth's heart making graves for young men with no money and no help, overdosing in their bedrooms, fever dreaming of an erased colony, the exiled wandering empty freeways, glass in their feet, trying to build home out of words they've forgotten how to say. Orgasms shattered, made of shattered laughter, thrown across bathroom floors, fireworks in the throats of mothers, daughters, sisters, gunpowder loud and just as bright. 
girls in school uniforms forced to pray so often it means nothing, and real prayers are said with held breath and still tongues. Lovers holding on so tight to the last good thing and everyone I've ever known balanced on the edge of a cliff, only half of them aware of it. And I float on through time as well as space, through the past and the future, through cave paintings and the last spray can graffiti on the crumbling walls of a world in flames, through the steam engine invention apocalypse and the technology that could have saved us, unfunded and unheard of. If God was a scientist, she'd never forgive us again. <laughs> My scattered atoms come to rest in a distant circle on the wine glass rim of the universe. And in despair or maybe hope, they collapse back in, rushing faster and faster together, colliding in a billion tiny moments until I'm sitting in my car, tire marks painted onto the road, the train rushes past, and its railway screech threatens to shatter the windows, so I roll them down, drink in the night. It's not so bad here when you have a home to get to. Thank you.